during the gaps in filming, Reese watched Journey to Stardom. He vaguely remembered that Emma's new artist was called Kendra, so he paid special attention to her. She doesn't really stand out from the crowd, but there's an air of confidence about her, Reese thought. He also liked her song choices and was certain that Kendra had what it took to win the competition. Reese also remembered what Lisa had said about getting to know the director. Even if they weren't destined to become close friends, he could at least be the kind of actor that he could rely on. Later that night, while Reese was waiting to film his next scene, he noticed the director seemed a little agitated as he listened to a series of voicemails. Fearing something was wrong, Reese went to talk to him. Is everything okay? He asked. The director quickly put his phone away and forced himself to smile. It's nothing. We should get back to filming, he said. If you're having problems, I don't mind talking about it, Reese responded. The director had always liked people who were talented and hardworking, so he had taken a shine to the young actor over the last few weeks. I'm in debt. Can you lend me some money? The older man asked. How much? Reese replied. Oh, just a couple hundred thousand, the director said with a hint of mirth. He knew there was no way Reese could afford to offer him that kind of loan. But the actor didn't hesitate to get on the phone and call Lisa. Seeing that he was being taken seriously, the director grabbed Reese's phone and hit the end call button. I'm only joking. The older man laughed and rubbed his hand through his hair. People would say I'm taking bribes if you loaned me that kind of money. Reese smiled back at him. My manager says you're a decent guy, so I'm willing to try to help, he replied. Is that so? The director looked at him thoughtfully and led him to a quiet corner for a chat. I know that you used to be part of a boy band, but you wanted a change of career. Why don't you come and work for me? The actor thought for a moment and then shook his head. I would love us to be friends, but I'll never leave my management agency, he said. Who are you with? The director asked. Superstar Media, Reese replied. I haven't heard of them, which probably means they're new, the director said. I can't see you having much of a future with them. It'll take years before you get anywhere. I'll be famous within a year, Reese replied. What makes you so confident? Who's running the agency? The director asked. Emma Miller, Reese responded. The director's eyes almost popped out of his head. Who? He asked. Emma Miller, you know, the actress, Reese responded. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. 
I wondered what Emma was going to do after she stepped out of the limelight. I guess she wanted to turn her hand to managing other stars. The director paused to give the younger man a thoughtful look. There's no point in trying to convince you to work for me if you've got an award-winning actress in your corner. How come no one else has mentioned Emma's change of career? She wanted to keep her involvement in the agency quiet for now. Ray said, the director nodded. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me, he responded. I'm sure you're gonna be a big star. You've got real talent. So I'm gonna recommend you to a few big names in the industry after we finish filming. Thank you so much, Ray said. There's no need to thank me. There aren't many sincere people in the industry these days, but Emma is definitely one of them. I'm a huge fan of her acting. It's a real shame we won't be seeing her on our screens again, the director replied. As Reese continued to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with the director, he realized just how right Lisa and Emma had been about the importance of making connections with other people in the industry. Eventually, Dominic discovered that Martina had become a manager and was taking care of a young woman who was competing in a singing competition. He decided to offer her his opinion on the matter. On the eve of the next elimination round, Martina found him leaning against the wall outside Lucy's front door. Why are you here? Martina asked. In the darkness, Lucy couldn't see Dominic's face properly. To her, he looked like a tall shadow. Who's this? Lucy asked. It's okay. You can go on up, Martina responded. Are you afraid I'll hurt her or something? Dominic asked, while taking a couple of steps into the light and offering his hand for Lucy to shake. I'm Dominic. My brother's a bit of a jerk. Just ignore him, Martina responded. But no matter what he says and does, don't trust him. Is that clear? Lucy nodded. I guess Martina has a family feud of her own, she thought. I'll leave you two to chat, Lucy said. As soon as Lucy went inside, Dominic moved to block Martina's path. You seem worried that I was going to make a move on that young singer of yours, he said. I was just worried that you would leave her with a bad impression of me, Martina responded. I hate people who can't separate their private and professional lives. Dominic laughed. The only person you hate is me, he said. You're right about that, Martina replied with an emphatic nod. She pushed past him and headed toward her car, but he caught up with her before she managed to drive away. Aren't you worried that I'll ruin your singer's chances in the competition? Dominic asked through the car window. I saw that she's into the last 300. Martina glared at him through the glass. You should be careful about backing me into a corner, 
she said, What happened between you and my mom? Dominic asked. I thought you were pretending to be some hotshot P.I. Martina replied with a laugh. If you were any good at it, you would know what happened by now. Dominic had arranged to have dinner with his mother so he could try and get some information out of her. But it was like getting blood out of a stone. Do you think I should ask this singer of yours out on a date? He asked. Your love life is none of my business, but you'll regret it if you try to ruin things for my client, Martina said, before starting her car and driving off. Dominic laughed at her response and quickly disappeared into the night. Martina still seemed to have her guard up around him, but he was going to let her be a manager if that was what she wanted. Whatever had gone on between her and his mother was bound to come to light eventually. Either way, there's no way that Kendra will win without someone's backing. He thought, Emma's dreaming if she thinks otherwise. The next day, stories that Dominic had met up with a contestant in the singing competition flooded the internet. Though Lucy wasn't famous... Dominic was, and the story was all anyone could talk about. Because of this seemingly small incident, Emma and Martina's plan was completely ruined. He was known for being devilishly charming, but Dominic generally kept his distance from scandals. Their conversation had now placed them both in the spotlight. Because she was such a mystery, reporters latched on to Lucy. They dug into her past and left no stone unturned as they picked her life apart for the whole world to see. As a result, she became famous despite being able to keep her real name hidden. They knew she was a contestant on Journey to Stardom, and now everyone else knew that too. Martina saw the articles flooding every news feed and went to talk to Lucy. After consoling her, she gave Emma a call. Dominic was looking for me, she said, as soon as Emma picked up. I feel like this is my fault. I figured that's what happened, Emma replied. This has been blown way out of proportion, and it's definitely too big for us to control now. This kind of exposure... Is bad for Lucy. Not only does it put her at risk of being discovered by her sister, but it's only a matter of time before the information about the theft resurfaces. What should we do? asked Martina. I have an idea, Emma said with a slight hesitation. But you're not going to like it. Just tell me, Martina replied. I think you need to tell the public about your relationship with Dominic, she said. It's the only way to take the spotlight off Lucy. Martina was silent for a moment 
as she thought it through. You're right, she said finally. But I'll do it on my own terms. That seems fair to me, Emma replied. Just do it soon before the public tears Lucy apart. Of course, I'll start working on a plan now, Martina said. Emma took a deep breath before glancing down at the child crawling next to her. She scooped him up and kissed his little forehead. Silly little one, she said to the babbling baby. Is your dad home? Eric came into the room and took Evan from Emma, swinging him around playfully before turning to his wife. I saw the news, he said. I know this is all Dominic's fault. If he and Martina don't resolve their issues, it will just keep getting worse. I know, Emma responded. I just told Martina she needs to reveal her relationship with him. Dominic might care about her, but none of this seems healthy. Dada, came the little voice from Eric's arms. The two parents looked at their child in shock before gushing over him with pride. Emma looked at the two of them lovingly, but felt a little tinge of jealousy. What about Mama? She asked the baby, playfully smiling at him. Don't worry, Eric said. I think Ethan will call for you first. They laughed at the truth of that statement. For now, anyways, each son had chosen his favorite parent. I guess I'll forgive the two of you, she teased. She welcomed the loving distraction from the mess that was happening in the media. Though she was worried, she was nowhere near as anxious as Martina, who couldn't stop thinking that they had placed all their bets on Lucy. If this ruined her reputation, superstar media could face the risk of shutting down. After dinner, Emma took the boys to their room and put them to bed, while Eric went to the study to give Luke a call. I need you to try to contain this mess, he said. Keep it from escalating any further. Don't worry, he said. I'll take care of it. Martina was distraught. If Dominic hadn't started this mess, she would have been able to avoid dealing with the Suarez family. But she had to address it for Lucy's sake. She needed to end things with him. Do you think my sister will find me? Lucy asked, breaking through Martina's thoughts. I'm really worried. You don't need to worry, Martina replied, squeezing her hand. Just trust me. After tonight... Everything will go back to normal. Lucy nodded and sighed. You should try to get some sleep, she said, before getting up to do the same. Martina waited for the door to close before searching through some of her belongings. After a moment, she pulled out a family photo 
grabbed her phone and called a reporter. This is Martina Suarez, the manager of the singer who's been associated with Dominic Suarez, she said. I have a bigger story for you than the singer's identity. Oh, yeah? replied the reporter. What's that? Dominic Suarez wasn't looking for the singer, she said, taking a deep breath. He was looking for me. Why would he be looking for you? he asked, doubt creeping into his voice. Because I'm his sister, she said. I was adopted into the Suarez family. I'm sending you proof now. She took a picture of the family photo and sent it to the reporter's phone. I'm Dominic's younger sister, she continued. Do you believe me now? The reporter looked at the picture. It was clearly Martina. Yes, I believe you, he replied. I'll release this information to the public tomorrow. Thank you, Martina said before hanging up. Now came the hard part. She grabbed her keys and drove over to Dominic's house. She was met at the front door by Dominic's assistant. Is there something I can help you with? He asked, surprised to see her at this time of night. I need to speak to Dominic, she replied, pushing past him. She found him in his room, reading through a script. He looked up at her in surprise. I've just talked to a reporter, she said. The full nature of our relationship will go public tomorrow. Are you happy now? Dominic frowned, confused by Martina's sudden recklessness. Why did you do that? He asked. Why did you let Lucy get trapped in the middle of this mess? She asked back. You've put her and her career in serious jeopardy. I had no choice but to sacrifice my own reputation for her sake. I didn't realize, he started to say. But why are you trying to ruin us because of a simple mistake? A simple mistake? Martina asked in disbelief. You've been trying to find out what happened between me and your mother, right? I'll tell you. She tried to marry me off for financial gain. She told me I wasn't a real member of the family and that I'd just been sponging off the rest of you for all these years. She told me it was time to earn my keep. Martina tried to calm herself with a few deep breaths. Luckily, the man didn't want to marry me any more than I wanted to marry him. She finally continued. He called it all off. I hate your mother. And because of that... A part of me can't help hating you as well. I need you to let me go. This is over. I can't believe it, whispered the assistant, who had followed behind Martina and heard everything. Dominic just stood there, looking shocked and hurt. Take care of him, 
Martina said quietly to the assistant as she turned and left. Dominic watched as she left without a backward glance. He let out a joyless laugh. She sure can be heartless, he said. If what she said was true, the assistant replied. What are you going to do about your mother? It honestly sounds like something she would do, he said, followed by a loud sigh. But what can I do? If Martina doesn't want to marry me, I can't force her. I'll just stay single for the rest of my life. He looked indifferent, but deep down, he was falling apart. He couldn't accept that their relationship had ended just like that. Well, that won't do, replied the assistant. Dominic laughed again, then fell silent. He wished he had known everything sooner. Maybe he wouldn't have put so much pressure on Martina. And maybe she wouldn't have hurt him so deeply. When she got home, Martina fell into her bed and cried. She had a tough exterior and hated to show any signs of weakness. But now that she was alone... She could let her guard down. News of Martina's big reveal was plastered all over the internet. Suddenly, the public turned all its attention on her and lost interest in Lucy's mysterious past. Martina had been able to prove that she was Dominic's adopted sister and a member of the Suarez family. Media outlets did their own digging and confirmed her story. Kaleidoscope helped control the news and shift the focus away from Lucy. But it was too late. Katrina had seen Lucy's story and realized it was her sister. Even though Lucy had gone to great lengths to change her appearance so no one would recognize her, Katrina could see through the deception. She would have been able to identify her sister no matter what she looked like. Katrina kept Lucy's true identity to herself. Instead of taking her knowledge to the media... She decided to pay her a visit. You don't know how to give up, do you, dear sister? She thought as she got into the car with her manager. How should we handle this? Her manager asked. We need to teach her a lesson, Katrina responded. She needs to learn that... She shouldn't overestimate her own abilities. She put on her sunglasses and signaled to the driver to start the car. She had seen Lucy's apartment in the news and knew where it was. Within a few moments, they were in front of her door. Katrina knocked. Lucy had thought it was Martina. She froze when she opened the door and saw Katrina standing in front of her. You don't seem very happy to see me, Katrina said before pushing Lucy aside and entering the apartment. Look at this tiny place you have. You're about to debut as a singer, and you live in this cruddy place? 
Mom and Dad gave me money for a house, but I guess they must have forgotten about you. Whatever you want to say, just say it, Lucy said. Then leave. She was trying her best to control her emotions, but she wasn't coming across as tough as she wanted to. Do you really think you could win against me? Katrina asked as she walked up to Lucy and put her face close to her terrified sisters. Lucy took a step back and tried to stand taller. If that's all you came here to say, you can leave, she said. Katrina turned around and gave her manager a nod. A look of understanding flashed between them before the manager grabbed Lucy and slammed her against the wall. The woman was strong, and Lucy was too shocked to fight back. Have you forgotten that you're nothing more than a thief? Katrina said. You thought you could go behind my back and make something of yourself. Did you forget that I could make your entire past go public? Lucy had tried so hard to keep her past a secret. Martina and Emma had done everything they could to give her a new identity. But her sister had the power to ruin it all in an instant. You've made it far, I'll give you that, Katrina continued. But if you don't drop out of the competition before the next round, I'll be forced to go to the press with everything I know. Having finally said what she came there to say, Katrina and her manager headed to the front door. As they exited the apartment, Martina walked past. She didn't recognize them, but after seeing Lucy in a crumpled heap on the floor, she rushed back out to catch them before they got away. Hey, wait, she yelled as she ran out of the apartment building. Katrina turned around to face her. Who do you think you are telling me to wait? She growled. Do you know who I am? Her manager leaned in close to her and whispered, That's your sister's manager. Katrina gave Martina a condescending once over. I would suggest you don't waste any more time on your client, she said. She's about to drop out of the competition. Which one of you hurt her? Martina asked, her eyes sharp and focused. She probably just tripped and fell, Katrina replied, laughing. I know who you are. You're all over the news. But you and Dominic don't scare me. Martina felt herself losing control. She wanted nothing more than to attack this terrible woman. Katrina could see her anger, and she grinned. Do you want to hit me? She taunted. Go ahead. I dare you. Martina took a step forward as Lucy suddenly ran out of the front door. Let them go, she said, 
trying her best not to let her emotions overwhelm her. Martina didn't want to give up so easily. She quickly grabbed her phone and called Lisa. I need you to come to Lucy's apartment right now, she said. I need your help with a problem. You're calling for backup? How cute, Katrina said with a smirk. I'll wait. She didn't believe that anyone would really come to Martina's aid. You're not trying to get your brother's help, are you? She continued to tease. Not when he's never even acknowledged who you are. Lucy reached out and put a hand on Martina's shoulder. Martina could feel her anger boiling over. But she knew she needed to keep it in control. Katrina wasn't worried. She didn't think Martina looked particularly tough. And though she thought Dominic might show up, the woman who eventually arrived didn't scare her. She recognized her as Lisa, Emma's former manager, whose husband was a big shot at Kaleidoscope. What's going on here? Lisa asked. This is Lucy's sister, Martina replied. She attacked Lucy, and she's threatening to make her drop out of the competition. Lisa looked at the two women, and then at Lucy, who was leaning against the wall, clearly in pain. Go make sure Lucy's okay, she said to Martina. Martina nodded and quickly went to Lucy's side. She put an arm around her and helped support some of her weight. It's Lisa, right? said Katrina with a fake smile. How nice to finally meet you. Lisa took a step forward, getting right in Katrina's face. With an icy glare, she said, If you dare come near her ever again, I will end your career. From most other people, a threat like that would be laughed at. But coming from Lisa, it held considerable weight. The look on her face was enough to make the other woman feel terrified. You have a lot of nerve, said Lisa. Attacking your sister the way you did. If you're so eager to tell the truth about what happened three years ago, then do it. But make sure it's the accurate version where you're nothing but a dirty thief. We could all use a bit of entertainment. Katrina opened her mouth to defend herself, but Lisa kept going before she had a chance. Let this be a warning to you, she said. If you ever come to us, Looking to start trouble again? I'll let the whole world know all about your criminal past. Katrina's face turned bright red as she tried to stutter out a response. You have no right, her manager started to say before Katrina held up a hand to stop her. I... I think we should leave, she said. We don't want to make an enemy, especially not someone who learned her methods from Emma Miller. 
You don't know the half of it, Lisa responded, her eyes as cold as ice. Katrina didn't want to accept defeat, but Lisa was clearly holding on to secrets too damning to let out. We're leaving, Katrina said in surrender. Lisa had other plans. You think you can get out of this so easily? She asked. What about an apology? What about covering the medical bills your sister will have from your assault? And don't even get me started on all the opportunities you stole from her. Lisa's words cut to the bone. She hated people like Katrina, who took advantage of others for their own gain. Katrina glared at Lisa, her vision red with fury. She couldn't understand how Lisa could dare speak to her that way. But she accepted defeat for now. Fine, she said. I'm sorry, and we're leaving. What a load of crap, Lisa said as she watched the two women get in their car and drive off. She turned to Martina. Go find building security right away. Get your hands on any footage of the incident they have. We're not letting her get away scot-free. Okay, Martina said as she started walking back into the building. Make sure Lucy's okay. Lisa helped Lucy to lean against her and then walked her back to her apartment. Once they got there, Lisa checked to see if her injuries were serious. I'm fine, Lucy said. I'll have some bruises, but nothing is broken. She was still in shock over how fierce Lisa had been. She had never seen anyone put Katrina in her place like that before, and she was very impressed. You're really something, she said to Lisa as she sat on the couch. I'm nothing special, Lisa replied with a chuckle as she grabbed some ice packs. This won't be the last time you see Katrina run off with her tail between her legs. I don't think I'll ever be as tough as you, Lucy said. Look, Lisa said as she handed the ice packs to Lucy. You don't need to be scared of your sister. As long as you know you're in the right, we can always help you fight your battles. Superstar Media may be just starting out, but we know a thing or two about protecting what's ours and proving to the world that we can hold our own. Are you the one who's been helping me throughout this competition? Lucy asked. No, that isn't me, Lucy said, shaking her head. There's an even more impressive person who's taking a liking to you. In that moment, Lucy wasn't sure there could be anyone more impressive than Lisa. Just focus on the competition, Lisa said. Superstar Media will handle everything else. And if you cross paths with anyone like Katrina again, just give me a call. I'll always answer. Could I work with you? Lucy asked. Could you be my manager? 
are things not going well with Martina? Lucy replied. She's very capable, and I think you two are a good fit. Superstar Media doesn't have bad artists, and we certainly don't have bad managers. Lucy nodded in response. I'll do the best I can in this competition for both of you, she said. I'm glad to hear it, Lisa replied. Now get some rest. I have some more things I need to take care of, so I'll leave you and Martina for now. Not long after, Martina returned. When she saw Lucy on the couch, covered in ice packs, she rushed to her side. I'm so sorry, she said, sitting next to her. I feel terrible that I wasn't able to protect you. Please, don't apologize, Lucy replied. It's my fault for not calling you before things got so bad. If you hadn't been on your way in, Katrina would have gotten away with attacking me. I know you must think I'm not as good as Lisa, Martina said. But I will never stop fighting for you, and I'll do everything I can to help you win this competition. Lucy knew Martina had significantly less experience than Lisa, but her passion spoke for itself. She smiled at the woman beside her. I trust you, she said. As Lisa headed home, she called Emma to let her know everything that had happened. Now that Katrina knows who Lucy is, she's not going to stop making trouble for us. It's going to be hard to stop her. What should we do? Lisa asked. Who said trouble is a bad thing? Emma replied. She's hell-bent on destroying her sister. All we have to do is let her try and make sure to record every incident. With the evidence on our side, she'll have no choice but to back down. I get it, Lisa said. I think you should also have a heart-to-heart -heart with Martina. She could use a little guidance on how to deal with things like this. I can do that, Emma replied. Now, get back to your own work and stop worrying about all of this. Emma hoped that Lucy would be able to toughen up. She knew from experience that being successful in the entertainment industry required a tough skin. Lucy was at the beginning of a long uphill trek to fame, and Emma could only hope that she had the stamina for it.